Give yourself a PA pose. Let's solve part eight. Let's take a pose of me in forty three. Now, since the integral of d between zero and pi is zero. D zero is zero. Now, we know D prime of X is Now, this implies this is which is the solution room. this. Now, these two terms cancel because u is periodic. This term is zero, and it's becoming also a zero, becoming zero. So this is zero. This means this is constant. So we're done with part B. Now let's solve part C. Part C. I hypothesis. Then it will from zero to the pi of omega x comma zero. The x is zero. Also, by part B, this is equal. 
equal to root of 100 pi of omega of x over t x for all t. So this is equal to 0 for all t. Now by part A, we know that anywhere from 0 to t pi is omega by t squared dx is less than or equal to the integral from 0 to t pi the equation, we know that x is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of omega of x over t times the derivative with respect to x of omega of t plus sine of x times omega of the integral from 0 to 2 pi of omega of x over t squared has this cosine of x dx. The t cancel. So we have that this is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 pi of omega of x over t squared side and multiplying by e to the t we have
is decreasing. We charge that at the P, slash that equal to F of zero, divided by E to the T. We know that F is positive, and this is going to zero, so F of T has to go to zero, which is what we wanted to prove. So let's prove part D. Are that the integral from 0 to two pi on d of x minus t minus d of x dx is equal to 0 and then d of x minus t minus d of x satisfies the PD. So we have the derivative of x of g of x to the t to x minus plus sorry sin x of g of x to the t, which is is a t of x to the t since uh, u is the plus of t, and which is g of x to the t. Part C, we're done. Bye.